Hey YouTube friends, let me tell you about a problem I'm having with this RCA radio. This is the RCA 810K. And this is the one I did a couple years ago. I'll turn the radio on. And um, I got me 125, 124, 125 volts going into it. And it's pulling like about 0.9 amps. And this radio plays really good and all that. And we'll just keep the volume low right now. But it plays really good. But the problem I got is this. Um, I was uh, playing it the other day. And um, well, let's say like, you know, it's on for like a half hour because I've been running about a half hour now. The transformer is, is cool. You know, it's not, can't even feel any heat, maybe slightly lukewarm. And, um, and this uh, fuel coil, you know, it's not, you know, it's cold. It's good, but I was applying uh, like lemon oil, that old English lemon oil, to the to the finish here, and that's good stuff. I highly recommend that. That's good stuff. I like that. But after about two hours, this this radio, this radio's transformer is getting hot. It's getting toasty hot, and if you hold your hand on it, it you'll burn yourself. Now it's been this radio's been on for about a half hour. Because I've been messing around with making videos here. This is like the third take. But after about a half, about a, two hours, if you held your hand on here, you would burn yourself. Okay, so that's, that's a problem. That's not good. Let me tell you what I think's going on here. I'm going to walk over here. And this is the, the voltage measurements and RCA was good here they put all the voltage me measurements on the tubes so I took the chassis out of that yonder radio there I took the chassis out put it on the bench and I measured uh, the voltage on the tubes and they're all running over what the spec should be that's that's like could be a problem but for instance here it says RCA says 360 volts on the plate of the tube. I was measuring 395 volts DC. Now, you say, well, that, that's pretty high, but see, RCA says that you could go plus minus 20% on the voltage. And I'm not sure what RCA engineers were smoking back then, but I think that's too high. Because 395 volts is pretty, pretty hot for this these pentos to run at. The design is for 360 volts, and that's only about 10% too high. Now, RCA says that these voltages are measured at 115 volts. But keep that in mind because the radio is running at 125 volts you know, into the radio. Now, RCA claims that you can run this radio... This is the power rating A. And you can run it at 105 to 125 volts. And that's a pretty big spread. And let me tell you something. Now, I have the cover on it, but the RCA 242 here, that is um, that has like a, a fuse. You can move the fuse like here or here. And like in that position on the back of the radio, the fuse is for like the 125 volt position. And over here, the fuse is for, I think, the 110 volt position. But if you look at this radio here, come back over here. See, this, this radio has no fuse in it. And I really think by 1938, they had like a little recessionary dip in 1938. And I think they started making radios cheaper. They try to make them like faster. And they were, you know, they were selling for a lot cheaper. Like, the 262 went for, like, about $200 new. And this radio went for about, I think it was about 95 bucks, I think. Or, like, 100 bucks or something. So it was, like, half the price of the 1934 model. So they try to make them cheaper. They try to make them faster. And they claim you can run it from 105 to 125 volts and I'm thinking that they're at the upper limit 
of the design of this transformer and also of the, the fuel coil. That fuel coil will start getting pretty warm too. It'll get hot actually. Now it's not hot now. The radio's still on. It's not hot now. And I've probably been messing with this radio for about 40 minutes or something. But after two hours, you know, it gradually gets warmer and warmer. And after two hours, it's hot. Well, that's not good. So anyway, I'm thinking that I should be running the radio about 115 volts. And I'm really pushing about 10 volts too much into the radio. You know, according to, like, the design spec. Like, they're saying the voltage should be at 115 volts. And that's what I'm going to do. I want to get 115 volts into the radio. So how are some possible ways I could do that? Well, these are some possible ways I could do it. I, I wrote them down. I got them over here. You know, one way I could put a resistor in series with, like, the radio circuit. Here's the radio here. And I could use Ohm's law, V equals I times R. And I could calculate 10 volt drop. We got about 1 amp. I need about a 10 ohm resistor. Now that resistor is going to get kind of toasty too. So what was the wattage of that transist of that resistor? And the wattage would be power is volts times the current. 10 volts times 1 amp, 10 watts. So like I said, it's going to get hot. So I say, like, you know, if I was going to use a resistor, I better um, double the, the wattage. Like, say I get, like, a 20, 25-watt resistor. Then I got, like, kind of mounted on top of the chassis. So that's one way of doing it. I'm not too sure about that, but that's one way of doing it. Here's another way of doing it. I could get a, a bucking transformer. So I got the AC, AC coming in. Then I could... Buck, buck it with this bucking transformer. So I got like a 10 volt bucking transformer. So I got, you know, this is like, this represents the plug. And I stole this from antiqueradios.com. So no one, please don't sue me. But I'm just saying, admit it right now. That's where I stole it from. But you got the input here, say 125, and you drop it like 10 volts to the bucking transformer. And this is the radio transformer here. So then you have 115 input. I think this is a better way of doing it than using a resistor. Because this trans this transformer isn't really going to get that hot. You're only bucking it like 10 volts. And, and also, um, you have to get this transformer so it's the right uh, current rating. But this is a better, this is like a more elegant way of doing it. And, and that's, that's a better way. Now, another way of doing it is to get yourself... Um, the auto transformer you can have 125 in and you could bring off the different taps 115 volt tap 110 volt tap 90 volt tap so that's using something called an auto transformer and then you gotta get the rating for that right too the right wattage for that so that's another way of doing it and um, another way of doing it and I read it was kinda comical I thought some guy on a blog said he uses a a variac for every radio he has. So I guess maybe every radio that has a problem with voltage, like see this this 262 under the cover here, that doesn't have a problem because I could put the fuse position in for the 125 volt position. I don't have a problem with anything overheating in here or getting too hot. And the Philco I just repaired, that has a big honking transformer in that Philco. And um, I'm running 124 volts into that, and no problem with it. That transformer runs maybe lukewarm. You know, I think the transformer in the RCA radio is just a little not designed properly enough. But, you know, to use like a Variac, you know, talking about that again, to use any vari a Variac on every radio, like someone suggested, that's, that's like overkill. And you're talking really pricey, you know? So, anyway, I think I figured out what I'm going to do. But uh, I don't have enough time in this video to show you. I'll just show you in the next video. So, anyway, folks, uh, you know, take it easy. Have a great day. And um, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.